just arrived to, Wifey. St. Petersburg! Yeah, <laughs> the crash into that. Yeah, yeah. And the adventure <laughs> Walking continues. Walking to the sign. <laughs> yeah. That would make great. Stop number. <laughs> Country number. One. Yeah. <laughs> so look at the test. <laughs> <laughs> Nailed <Yeah>. it. <laughs> Hey everyone, just a quick update. So we left Yekaterinburg last night. Um, we managed to get about three hours sleep. Marina came and woke us up at 3 a.m. this morning and she literally couldn't feed us enough, could she? <laughs> Bless her. Sent us off with like all these goodies and all these yeah. um, Russian candies and she gave us a box of chocolates. I don't think she wanted us to leave. She, get, um, she doesn't speak any English, but she learnt the phrase, we will miss you. So. Yeah, it was actually <laughs> quite emotional nice. and quite sad. Anyway, so um, yeah, we we said goodbye to her, and then uh, and then Pavel. Pavel, her husband, drove us to the airport. Um, we flew to St Petersburg, and now we're here. Now we're here in St Petersburg. In destination number two, country number one, <laughs> city number two, and um, we took a nap. <laughs> Really it's quite wet this morning and it seems to have stopped raining so yeah. it's warmer it's here it's good. like five six degrees so yay yeah. no more slipping in the snow yeah, the so we're ready to go and explore now we've got we've got the whole afternoon um and evening to, to go and check out st petersburg What do we have here, Wifey? St. Catherine Cathedral. Now we need to find some coffee. Let's get some food. <laughs> so we just found this amazing little restaurant. I can't actually pronounce the name of it. It's called... <laughs> looks like mackerel. Um, but yeah, we just stumbled across it. It's got like an insane menu. Like, I don't know if you can see all the pictures of the food. Um, I'm going to go for the beetroot spaghetti with cherry tomatoes. Stretcher. Dracatella cheese and pesto. I think that's what I'm going to go for. <laughs> so many choices. The menu is just really fun and they do so many different types of coffees, smoothies. I'm going for pineapple, banana, and arangula, arangula depending on where you're from. <laughs> How you say and it's that? quite good for you and your vegetarian options. Yeah, there's an entire, well. uh, yeah, I'm an going entire for a vegan pizza. menu. Vegan menu as well. I didn't expect to find that. There's so much choice. There's pizzas, there's protein dishes. It's great. Doing a bit more walking around St. Petersburg, and uh, here is St. Isaac's Cathedral. Check it out. I don't know if you can see this, but St. Petersburg actually has some surfing crows. So after having seen where the um, Romanovs were, killed in Yekaterinburg. I'm going to the um, original burial site there where the bodies are found. 
We're now here in St. Petersburg and we're going to go inside St. Peter and St. Paul's Cathedral, which is where all the Roman art bodies are buried. So we're here inside the St. Peter and Paul Cathedral in uh, St. Petersburg and here you can see the Romanovs um, buried, so you've got Nicholas, his wife, and you've only got Olga, um, Tatiana, Anastasia, um, the three daughters here. Five out of the seven um, last Tsars, the Romanov family, were, are buried. Two of them are still missing because um, Alexei and Maria, son and daughter, um, were buried somewhere else. And they were found in 2007, so they're still being um, DNA tested. So hopefully one day they'll get to join them and the other the five here be here. <laughs> Fingers crossed for them. I think we've just stumbled across a Russian movie. Tell the Russians the World Cup was two years ago. And that Christmas was three months ago. <laughs> Petersburg um, today so it's been our second day today we've had a really nice day actually and it's the sun came out no more rain and we walked on to um, St Peter and St Paul's fortress which is on its own little island we paid 550 Russian rubles which is about five pounds fifty each again I would point out everything is written in Russian so other than being <laughs> able to just kind of, if you know if, if you know a tiny little bit of Russian history, then you can kind of figure things out from being able to see the names of things and, and tying that up with the numbers. There's there's 50 bodies in there, and 46 of them are Romanovs, so you, you can kind of just work your way backwards. We definitely um, embraced the Russian drinking culture tonight. We were, <laughs> oh no. <laughs> we, we were obviously drinking with these guys, and we were like, oh yeah, you try this. Like traditional Russian shots, Craig had a horseradish shot. Blech. It's 8.30am and we've just arrived at St. Petersburg's Moskovsky train station and we are heading to... Moscow! Yay! Train, four hours. Be there for lunchtime. Yeah, be there for midday. Yeah. Trying to find our train. 